So as we look at, uh, again, some of the amounts of rain that we received, we were below average in June, July, we could trace a um, quarter of an inch in August, September, really trace amounts there. So as we come into towards the end of September, we're well behind. We're almost three inches behind average. And we're going to see that dry trend continue into the beginning of October. Now, it's what happens November, December to see if we can make some gains. But right now, it looks to be dry. Then uh, El Nino is what we're going to be talking about as we enter the winter cycle. But right now, everything is still tinder dry. We look at the smoke forecast. Even with all those dry conditions, we don't have a lot of fires in our immediate area that are adding smoke into the atmosphere. So we're looking pretty good when it comes to smoke on the ground level. Now, if we look at what we have for elevated smoke, that haze that we see on the horizon, that too is looking pretty good. We're going to see a continuation of some clear skies. We do have some local fires burning into Montana and central Idaho, but the winds aloft are taking that east. So we're not going to be seeing that smoke in the area. So we'll have less haze in the air. And of course, our air quality continues to be good to just into moderate um, and it should stay good through the weekend, um, barring any new fire start. So really, things are looking nice there. As we look at our forecast for the day, we're going to be around 70 in the noon hour. We're going to be 75 for the high today. Sunshine, a few high pink clouds. Nice. So enjoy not only today, but the entire weekend will be dry and temperatures in the 70s. Thanks for watching. We'll continue the weather conversation right here.